Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. Yes, I'm the Goose. Glad to have you back with me again. Uh, before we get started, we're going to talk about getting old, by the way. And before we really get started, we'll have a sip of coffee. And for old guys like me, that helps get the motor running in the morning. Uh, my coffee, as you know, very strong, just like my opinion. And uh, got some creamer in there to make it sweet, just like me. Never get too old to get sweet, right? All right. All right, here we go. Uh, where do we start with the old athletes? Uh, well, of course, the the first place you want to start now is uh, these days is with Manny Pacquiao, the great uh, Filipino boxer. He is a world champion still at the age of uh, soon to be 42. Uh, last year, he defeated Keith Thurman, who was 29 and undefeated, by the way, for a share of the uh, world welterweight title. Uh, Pacquiao, as you uh, probably remember, maybe the greatest uh, fighter of all time. He's the only guy to get uh, uh, titles in eight different weight divisions, uh, five different lineal weight divisions, if you want to go back uh, old school with that. He has held uh, championships now in four different decades. Decades! Nobody has ever done that. And uh, we're still waiting to see who he will fight next. Uh, we're hoping it'll be one of the other uh, two title holders of the welterweight division. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. and uh, Terrence Crawford, who just uh, won uh, very recently a convincing decision over Kell Brook. Anyhow, Manny Pacquiao, soon to be 42 years old, the uh, first uh, name that comes to mind when it comes to great older champions. But there are more, many more, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's talk baseball, shall we? I love baseball. I love baseball history. And one of the uh, finest pitchers ever, maybe the greatest, uh, was Satchel Paige, a uh, gentleman, I believe, from St. Louis, uh, the second black pitcher uh, to play in the major leagues. He entered the majors at uh, the age of 42 uh, in the uh, 1948 season, and uh, he showed what he was, uh, you know, been showing in the Negro Leagues for many, many years prior to that. He was actually six, at the age of 42 now, Satchel Page was 6-1 and one for the Cleveland Indians with an earned run average of a 2.48. Not bad, no matter what your age. And of course, the Cleveland Indians went to the World Series that year and won it, and Satchel Page got a ring in his Rookie year, he pitched in the series, just got a couple guys out, but hey, uh, he uh, he fared very well for the Indians. Satchel Page wasn't done then. Uh, he pitched for several more years and finally retired in 1965 as a member of the uh, Kansas City Club. I think they were the Athletics at that time, and uh, Satchel Page pitched in the major leagues at the age of 58 years old. Is that amazing? Uh, yeah, but again, Satchel Page, uh, one of the greatest ever to uh, take the mound in baseball history, whether it be Negro Leagues or Major Leagues. Uh, let's go with another great older athlete. We'll go to the NFL. And, you know, that's one of those sports where, um, you know, if you're older, you better still play the game and uh, be able to move your feet or else you're going to get run over. George Blanda was a longtime great uh, he played uh, in the American Football League and ended up with the Oakland Raiders in the NFL. Uh, George Blanda played as a quarterback and a kicker uh, until 1976. He was 48 years old, a full-time kicker for the Oakland Raiders at the age of 48. Not bad, George Blanda. Uh, another sport, one of the few that uh, requires you to be young, agile, and strong, or else you will die on the field. Uh, that's the National Hockey League. Only one guy has the name Mr. Hockey. No, it's not Wayne Gretzky. Uh, this guy played long before Wayne Gretzky. His name is Gordy Howe. He played uh, for a few teams, but uh, ended up uh, playing for the Hartford Whalers and led them to the playoffs. At the age of 51, in the NHL, 51 years old. That is truly incredible. And that was, you know, you have to be tough to play in the NFL. And back then, they didn't have helmets or face shields or, or you were a tough guy. 
if you played in the NHL. Uh, so George, George, uh, Gordy Howe, I'm sorry, Gordy Howe, Mr. Hockey. And uh, he, when he retired, he was the league's all time leading scorer. And he's still on the list of the top all time scorers in the NHL. Uh, Gordy Howe. Let's move on uh, to a couple other sports. Of course, we can't leave out the ladies, right? Uh, let's move on to tennis. Who's the greatest uh, female tennis player of all time? No, it's not the Williams sisters. Sorry. Uh, it's N uh, Martina Navratilova. Remember her back in the uh, 70s and 80s and 90s, I believe? Uh, Martina Navratilova, a uh, product of the... Uh, uh, Czech Republic, then known as Czechoslovakia. Uh, she won many, many titles, including Wimbledon titles, one of the all-time greats. And uh, she ended up uh, playing as a professional until the age of 49. And at that age, Martina won the uh, portion of the Mixed Doubles U.S. Open Championship. The oldest ever by far to win that. And there's a Martina Ratalova, great uh, player, great spokeswoman for the sport, and absolutely intimidating when you look across the, uh, the court and see her as your opponent. She was amazing. And we'll finish up with another lady, and we'll go back to boxing for this. You uh, may not have uh, known this boxer, but I love the uh, nickname, the Hawaiian Mongoose. Gotta love that. Uh, Ellie Azuski was her name. She started at a, an older age. But again, there's it's one of those sports you can't just, uh, you know, tiptoe through your way, uh, you know, through your opponents and through your matches if you want to uh, survive in that sport. We've seen that many times. You can die in the ring. Uh, Ellie Alzuski won the flyweight championship at the age of 45. The Hawaiian mongoose, what a great boxer she was. And, of course, I, I can't mention great older athletes until I mention yours truly. <laughs> well, not great, but older, and, uh, and I'm sure many of you are. And if you're not, you can still be a great older athlete in your own world, right? Uh, I uh, grew up playing every sport under the sun, as many kids did. At, at my age now, uh, you know, one of the sad parts uh, of uh, watching youth sports today is they only play one sport, many of them, and they play all year long just the one sport, and they're specialized, and they have special handlers and coaches and trainers, and it, it's just kind of, you know, we've lost some of the, the, the fun out of sports. It's become too much of a business and too much of a, you know, a science experiment, you know, we put these young kids in a lab and let the, the crazy doctors work on them and turn them into, you know, what what uh, their parents and, and teachers and coaches want them to be. It's, it's too bad that we kind of lost the, the fun in many of the sports. Uh, I played baseball in high school and uh, basketball, uh, you know, and again, I played every sport under the sun. And uh, even now at my... Uh, uh, advanced stage, uh, 58 years old. I still play basketball, played yesterday, um, and I hold my own. You know, uh, I don't claim to be anything special, but I can still hang in there with guys who are uh, not just younger than me, not just young enough to be my kids, but young enough to be my grandkids. Uh, one of the guys I was playing against yesterday was complaining. He said, you know, I don't have much more time, you know, to to play sports. I'm, I'm 23 years old. I said, oh my God, I'm old enough to be your grandpa. Come on now, suck it up. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a good guy. And uh, we have a lot of fun. That's the key. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go back. Uh, what was it? This is 2020. It was 11 years ago. I was 47. Um, and I played in a Filipino league uh, when we spent the summer over in Cebu and Argo. And uh, uh, played well, I think. Uh, we only lost one game. That was by two points. We were robbed, of course. No, it was, it was just a lot of fun. And, uh, and just to show you uh, that you can come back from almost anything, that was, let's see, uh, 2009. That was four years after a, a traumatic brain injury. So, you know, not just alive, but alive and well and kicking and having a great time. And, uh, you know, you can too. There's no reason for you to just sit on your rear end and complain about, oh, I'm getting old, I just can't do that anymore. 
Uh, yes, you can. Uh, I learned uh, years prior to that when I finally gave up smoking and uh, doing all kinds of other crazy things to my body that I shouldn't have been doing. Started uh, lifting weights and uh, I was taught to do it the right way and for the right reason. And that reason is not to, uh, you know, scream in the gym, hey, look at me, everybody. I'm a tough guy. I'm amazing. No, I'm not. I'm no better than anybody else. But you do it to stay healthy and stay strong and be able to go out and play the sports you love to play. And I also learned at that time that to get in good shape, you don't have to, you know, win awards, break records, or even compete with anybody. Walking the dog, for crying out loud, is good exercise. Uh, you can go swimming. You can, you know, play a little golf. You can, there's so many things you can do to make yourself healthier. And, uh, and with good health comes happiness. Trust me, it's worked for me and it can work for you. And don't forget to pray. Take good care of yourself. That's, that's the key, right? With God's help, we can all do what we want to do and stay young for a long, long time. Anyhow, hopefully some good uh, advice for you. It certainly has worked for me. We'll uh, try and stay in touch with you guys. We've got uh, more great uh, boxing uh, bouts coming up soon, and hopefully we'll hear something from Andy Pacquiao uh, very soon as well. That's it for this edition of Coffee with a Goose. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Uh, many, many thanks for you folks who are subscribers. I really appreciate it. We'll have many more shows to come. All right. Take care.